Oh boy, I'm so excited for today's video. I'm going to do a first impressions of Drakkar Intense on camera. I've got my bottle finally. I've been waiting for it anxiously. I'm not sure if it's actually physically had a release in the States yet. I figured out a way to get a bottle, thankfully. Thankfully, uh, I've been dying to you know get my hands on a bottle and smell this particular fragrance because Drakkar Noir was a fragrance I wore so much of in the 80s. This comes 40 years after Drakkar Noir and also 50 years after the original Drakkar, which I never wore. I discussed all of this in an anticipation video. If you haven't caught that video, go catch it. But today I'm gonna to do first impressions of Drakkar Intense in this video. Compared to the original Drakkar Noir, also pause the video, wear the fragrance for a bit, come back and let you know all about Drakkar Intense. So if you wanna find out about Drakkar Intense, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, it's an exciting day for me. Get to smell the new Drakkar Intense. Drakkar Noir was a special fragrance for me. Probably one of the first fragrances that I really, really got into enjoying and wearing fragrances in the 80s. Not one of the fragrances that got me into doing reviews, but one of the fragrances that got me to really enjoy fragrances because I went through four bottles of this stuff in the 80s. So this is something I've been anticipating for a long time. But to me, um, it seems like there's some kind of a resurgence in excitement of these kind of classic barbershop fragrances that are get getting an update. And, uh, you know, they're getting a, a modern update, but still kind of uh, smelling like the classic uh, version of it. Anyway, is that how this is going to be? I'm not 100% uh, sure. But I'll let you know before I do that though, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So how many of you have smelled this one so far? If you haven't, are you excited for this one? Also let me know what your age is. Are you in your 50s like me? I'm, 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 I'm in my very early 50s, 51. And I wore uh, the original, like I said, in, in the 80s when I was in my teens. So are you young and you're excited for this one? Like you're in your 20s, your teens, or 30s? I'd like to find out how excited you are and what your age range is so I can see who is actually this particular uh, fragrance is going to appeal to and things like that. So this is 40 years after Drakkar Noir, 50 years after Drakkar, the original. This is Eau de Parfum Concentration. I got this for about 50 bucks. I don't know if the suggested retail price that I posted in my anticipation video was correct because I looked up Marionade in France. This particular version, the 100 ml, was around 60 euros somewhere around there. So I'm not 100% sure what the actual price is. And, and and if this fragrance is actually going to get an official release here in the States, I've been waiting and it hasn't. It's been like almost a month that this was launched in Europe. So I don't know. But according to the notes, it features bergamot, absinthe, coriander, rosemary for top notes, heart notes, lavender, clary sage, juniper berry, base notes, patchouli, vanilla, suede, and moss. Let's open it up. It's interesting, the box has so much detail, information, and writing on the back, so much of it. I haven't seen that much uh, information. But let me show you the cover. You know, it's got this color. And to me, this, is, this kind of color on packaging and artwork associates with amber. Is this going to go into the amber direction? Is it going to be like... Pasha de Cartier, which became Pasha de Cartier Parfum, which went, you no, know, it was an aromatic fougere barbershop and went into that warm, spicy direction. I have this feeling that's what's going to happen with this one because this, according to the notes, there's vanilla here. So is it going to go into the ambery direction? I'm hoping it is. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is Guy La Roche. If you guys don't know Guy La Roche, uh, not a lot of fragrances from this house currently. So the only men's fragrance there is, is the original Drakkar, except that this just launched. And there's a woman's fragrance called Fiji, which actually my mom wore in the 70s, even the 60s, I believe. So here's the, I like the fact that they use black cardboard, not white, because it's kind of classy for me. Although this white is kind of too much white. But anyway, here's the bottle. 
and it's kind of like a very orangey kind of dark orange ambery kind of color although this is pretty plasticky like the original um, so I mean the fragrance itself is not really expensive and of course in Marionade it was actually uh, for sale those of you that are in France and know this uh, fragrance chain or perfume chain uh, they're selling over there glasses uh, clear I wish they did a kind of a darker color so we can see the juice although I think they're highlighting the juice because um, you know it's kind of going to the warm direction at least that's what I'm thinking it's going to be so let's go ahead and uh, spray this I'm gonna spray it onto the box first uh, and uh, smell it there so yeah it's reminding me totally of the original first off total reminder of the original but there is something a little more dense here thicker not as uh, watery as this one although as I mentioned in my anticipation video they have kept this in a pretty good state it sm still smells really great although it's very thin whereas here it is a thicker experience so you can actually s experience the thickness of the juice this is Eau de Parfum the uh, the new version the intense is eau de parfum and the original dracar noir is uh, in uh, eau de toilette so i'm picking up a little booziness absinthe on the top notes i'm getting that i'm just smelling this from the spray i'm not I haven't even worn it yet and i'm also smelling the coriander coriander to me is a very 80s men's fragrance note i'm assuming it was also in women's fragrances but i saw it a lot in men's fragrances in the 80s so i like this coriander note and i get a bunch of it up top so it does have a kind of a citrusy start with a booziness kind of a greenness from absinthe and coriander but it is a thicker experience in the background i'm starting to smell the lavender because this fragrance is mostly about the lavender um, and then you know some clary sage comes in as well but I, I am getting warmth there's definitely an ambery quality and also that reminder of the Pacha de Cartier Parfum it's a uh, you know they took Pacha de Cartier which was more of a woody spicy aromatic kind of barbershop fragrance and they took it into that warm direction that's kind of what they've done here with this one there's definitely a vanillic warmth to it which I quite like uh, let's go ahead and spray it on three sprays definitely that green booziness from absinthe that's pretty prominent for me definitely the coriander also really really lovely lavender comes in as well you know i'm picking up lots of lavender this is a very lavendery experience which obviously makes sense because the original was also very lavendery um you know i'm picking up the denseness it's not much more dense than this probably a little but definitely you experience it and because of the fact that it's got this kind of warm ambery touch i think that is actually acting more dense than the original because the original seems thin and very fresh it doesn't have the warmth to it it's more like aromatics and herbs with woods and you know green touches this you experience the warmth for sure i almost feel like there's probably some kind of a warm spice in here as well there's a little bit of a cinnamoniness in there I'm picking up you know it's definitely very delicious the other thing I want to mention I, I brought up Pasha de Cartier Parfum um, there's also Azzaro Por Homme Parfum that also has this booziness this is kind of reminding me of that which I actually recently posted on an Instagram post over the holidays that I wanted to buy a backup bottle of that because now that Azzaro is under L'Oreal and I like that booziness because Azzaro Por Homme is definitely one of those barbershoppy fragrances powerhouse from the late 70s, you know, onto the 80s. And they launched the, bo the boozy version, the Eau de Parfum, not the Eau de Parfum, but the Parfum version around 2015. It's definitely solid. This is actually reminding me of that because there's a little bit of a booziness here from the absinthe, which I quite like. It's interesting, the Azzaro Por Homme Parfum, the uh, Pasha de Cartier Parfum, and now the Dracar Intense uh, are all boozy with a kind of an aromatic fougere kind of direction. I'm digging the smell. 
It's definitely a throwback to the 80s. It totally reminds me of this one. There is definitely warmth here, for sure. Whereas this one, as I was mentioning, it's more herbal. You can experience the grassiness, the herbs, uh, the thinness of this particular fragrance, where it still smells great. Here, there's definitely the warmth. But I like this booziness a lot. That keeps coming up and uh, keeps reminding me of Pasha de Cartier Parfum and also the Azzaro Pour Homme Parfum. So let's go ahead and pause and then I'll come back in a, a few hours and let you know what I think about this particular fragrance. So wearing Drakkar Intense for a few hours, I realized that it does get warmer and sweetens up on me. And there's also a very soft spiciness about this particular one, rather than like a very hard spice. I did mention in the beginning that there is something cinnamony here, so there is definitely warmth there. I felt like there was a little bit of something like cinnamon, but I think I take that back. I think it's more like nutmeg. There's definitely something soft spiciness, or it could be that there isn't this particular note in here, and and the way that the fragrance is blended together, I'm getting kind of whiffs of or reminders of something warm spiciness because there's definitely lots of warmth here. But it does sweeten up on me, but still soft. There's no harshness, even though these kind of fragrances can come off harsh. Uh, you know, the aromatics together, uh, they could be sharp and uh, metallic. There's not that here. I think you experience the herbs and the aromatics but I think uh, that whatever notes they have in here like the vanilla or if they have any amber touches if they have any labdanum or any uh, you know warm spices kind of softens up the fragrance so you experience the soft spiciness with this particular fragrance there's definitely lots of booze here lots of green touches the absinthe note is great it's really really great and I like that they've taken it into a boozy direction uh, again uh, it doesn't smell too original because I'm reminded of the original fragrance, the Drakkar Noir, very much and very much. Plus, I'm getting those reminders of those two other fragrances, two other aromatic fougeres that went um, boozy. So there is that, but I think anyone into Drakkar Noir, the original, will probably dig this one, especially if you want to revisit this particular fragrance and, you know, kind of live your old days. Like, I'm, I'm remembering high school. First, I'm remembering junior high because I went to, uh, I was going to junior high when I first started wearing this and then on to high school and then towards the end of uh, the 80s, I graduated from high school. So, it's totally bringing back those kind of memories, but in a little bit more of a modern way, Definitely that warmth that's thrown in here, the sweetness, which is kind of prominent in men's fragrances nowadays, especially men's designer fragrances, because a lot of men's designer fragrances are sweet, and that they've added enough sweetness uh, to this fragrance to make it more modern. So is it longer lasting? I'm not sure if this is going to last much longer than that. We'll see. I think it's a definitely very moderate. So I'm thinking, it's been about two hours since I've had this on. I would say this is somewhere around six, six hours, give or take, uh, as far as uh, longevity goes, which is quite good for an Eau de Parfum uh, when uh, it's also not that expensive for this particular fragrance. But I'll put it to test and then report back on the longevity for sure. But, you know, I'm digging this one. I really, really like it. I like the whole... Um, a reminder of the original, as I said, and then also the update to the uh, more modern style of fragrance. And then, I keep saying it, the reminders of those other uh, two fragrances. I do enjoy boozy fragrances quite a bit, and it makes for a great wearing experience. But those of you that are excited about this one and know Azzaro Pour Homme Parfum, and also know Pasha de Cartier Parfum, test it to see if you get those reminders of those two fragrances, because it's definitely reminding me of barbershop aromatic fougere fragrances for men from the 70s and 80s plus the update to the warmth and the booziness that's totally there uh, anyway that's my thoughts on Drakkar Intense let me know your thoughts on Drakkar Intense have you tried this one yet are you curious to try it did you wear the original Drakkar Noir but I shouldn't say this is the original because the original came out in uh, 1972 50 years ago that one doesn't exist anymore this one definitely does and this is the only fragrance for men in their catalog up until now in Guy La Roche's catalog with um, Drakkar Intense. Anyway, uh, please let me know if you've already sampled it, if you're excited for it. Are you a fan of the original Drakkar? 
uh, Noir. And there's one more fragrance now. It's not on their website, but it's still at discounters for the Drakkar Flankers. It's in the blue bottle and I'm drawing a blank with the name. Let me know if you're a fan of that particular fragrance. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.